When I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is go usually straight to Instagram and how bad that has been for my self-esteem and imposter syndrome, just comparing myself to everyone that I see first thing in the morning. Happy New Year's Eve. I'm just going to start out the vlog right now. Um, I am sick, my husband and I both, and so New Year's Eve we're just going to be spending at home tonight. I've been going over resolutions and I just kind of wanted this to be a few days of my life vlog for January. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and clean up Christmas. I'm not really over it, but I just feel like ready to move on. I am wearing my Christmas present on my back right now this guy it is the upright go two so it's actually a posture trainer whenever you slouch it vibrates one of my big things i want to work on is my posture did you have fun on your walk do you have a good walk yeah you like walks don't you yesterday there was sun and there was rain results back but we did get tested for covid and it's just been really hard dealing with the fact that i don't get sick ever and i only get sick now when it's the holidays and the new years and we had really fun plans for tonight we were going to go bowling and then celebrate the new year with three other couples and it's just kind of like it sucks that the whole thing is off this is like the first new year where i haven't done anything i did get emotional because it's such a big thing like new year's eve and new year is such a big deal but in the grand scheme of things it's really not and it really doesn't bother me that i don't want to stay up till midnight but i feel like i have to because that's just what i've always done so it's just kind of it's a weird new year's this whole sickness throughout the holidays has really shown me how to just be thankful for what you have and where you are in your life right now and not to be constantly looking to improve on things because I'm so much like that. I feel like I have to be doing a thousand things productive and I can't just like not do something super productive. So it's been really, really hard, very challenging, but it kind of forced me to rethink my New Year's resolutions. I have like a word every year and last year it was self-discipline. To be intuitive is my word this year. I just want to focus on being in the moment. I have like my one thing and that's going to be YouTube. It's not going to be Instagram. Instagram doesn't make me feel good about myself. And I had a conversation with my mom this morning all about that and how when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is get on my cell phone and I go usually straight to Instagram and how bad that has been for my self-esteem and imposter syndrome, just comparing myself to everyone that I see first thing in the morning. One of my New Year's resolutions I've decided is to not get on my phone before 10 a.m. I think that'll be a really positive change in my day-to-day -day life. I'm glad I got all the Christmas stuff up. I think it feels really good to go into the new year tomorrow with no holiday stuff, just kind of like start fresh. So I got everything cleaned, vacuumed the whole house, Everything feels really fresh, and that is how I want to start my new year. How'd you do that? <laughs> How'd I do what? You did that? Yeah, I did that. I moved that couch from there to there. I did it whenever we decorated, too. Oh, my God. Guess what else I'm about to do? What? I'm going to burn that candle. Oh, finally. <laughs> it's the Capri Blue Volcano. I have not burned it, and I've owned it for... Years. Four years now. It is priceless.
is out of sight. Reaching for the really important to me is to have a really good morning routine and start off my day the right way. So I talked about this a little bit last night, but I am not going to look at my phone before 10 a.m. I want to get out of bed, brush my teeth, wash my face, make the bed, then go straight into meditation for at least five minutes. And then I want to go ahead and get my five minutes of piano practice out of the way in the mornings. That's my new morning routine that I'm doing. I'm no longer allowing myself the distraction of my phone before 10 a.m. so I can stick to that morning routine every single day. You've already decided what your goals are going to be for 2022. Even if you're watching this and it's not January 1st and you had goals that you've already kind of messed up on, just do it again. The only reason why people like New Year so much is because it feels like a clean slate. I think it's way more important to just go ahead and start whenever you can. You know, at the end of the year, it's going to matter what you did more. And if you just quit one day because you miss a day in your streak, you just got to remind yourself that you're not a failure and you can start whenever. I am going to get a workout in. I haven't worked out in probably about two weeks since I started getting really sick. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm really just over not working out. It is so bad for me mentally. So I'm really excited to get back into it and I'm going to start today. So it's kind of perfect timing that on New Year's Day I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself. One of my New Year's resolutions is to run 10 miles per month. I think that's super attainable. That's like a half a mile run only 20 days out of the month and so I can definitely do that. Um, I really missed running on the treadmill. We have one in our garage um, but 10 miles a month is definitely realistic and so I started a little run log in my notes app on my phone so I'm really excited to start that. Such a sweet pile of dog. You want to go on a walk? <laughs> Just our luck. The one time Max says, let's go on a walk, and actually wants to, it rains. Went on our walk about one and a half miles, and then I just did 0.25 miles of a run on a treadmill, and I'm so out of breath. I haven't ran in months. Yes, I literally only did 0.25 miles. I did it at 5.3 miles per hour. Just got out of the shower. I also wanted to show what I just did. Um, this is my IPL device. It's intense pulsed light. I absolutely love, love, love this thing. I'm on week five right now and I am seeing such a decrease in hair growth. It's insane. I'm going to be doing a separate video on it um, later. It's 4.30, so I'm like two and a half hours behind my water. So I'm going to focus on drinking water and I'm going to edit a YouTube video for a little bit because a daily habit of mine is editing for at least 15 minutes every single day. And so I've got to go ahead and get that done. Oh. Chick-fil-A for dinner. I got a spicy Southwest salad with spicy chicken strips on it instead. It's so good. And then I have never had this before. It's a chicken tortilla soup, so I got a cup of that. Hey, Bridge. Bridge. <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs> I know, you got, it's been too did, long. <laughs> why do you guys break his heart? See, quarantine is hard. Why are you torturing him? 
not even 10 o'clock and we are already getting ready to go to bed. I just stretched a little bit. Stretching is also a daily goal. I have been wanting to do splits for years and I have yet to do them. I'm getting closer and closer. I'm just not there quite yet. I can definitely get it by summer, I'm assuming. So I'm gonna keep trying, but yeah, another daily habit that I have is to stretch. So I did that. It's been a very, very, very chill day, which is exactly what I needed, so. Agents of the other Beyond gravel, beyond got back from the grocery store. It's almost three o'clock already. I feel like the day just flew by. I already did my morning routine as you could see so that felt good to get that done again. We have a meal planned a little bit for the week. So this week I'm gonna make a tofu cauliflower rice stir fry with broccoli and bell peppers and then we're just gonna do like sandwiches, deli meat sandwiches on sourdough bread with like broccoli sprouts and spinach and tomato. And I showed this last night, I just wanna show you again, this is my little habit tracker app. So every day I get to go in here and check off like my little habit. So for example, today I made the bed, so I check it off and then it completes it. And so I do that for all my habits and then last night after I finished, my flossing and the other things I needed to do, I checked that off as well and it gives you a little celebration 100% and that's what my goal is, is to do these habits every single day. I am already kind of sore from my little workout yesterday, that's just how out of shape I am. I, I do 100% believe that working out yesterday helped so much with moving things along um, because I'm more congested than I usually am but my ears are starting to feel a little bit less congested. My ears have felt like they've been closed off for so long so I'm feeling a lot better and my husband's also feeling better he's actually working out right now so we're both kind of getting back into the swing of things it feels really good our COVID test results still have not come back I think about you all the time morning evening and midnight such a wonderful delight Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden We finally got our test results back And we are Negative Negative No co for us so we are naturally on the way to my parents' house. We haven't been to their house in like a week because we didn't want to get them sick in general, but then especially when we had a little bit of a scare, we definitely didn't want to be near them. Um, but now we're headed over there for dinner because my mom made a tofu pad thai yeah. something, and I don't have to cook tonight, so. Headed over there for dinner. Chris, who is yeah, that? Hi. Hello. And it shows if I'm on it. This is why I don't like to eat dinner early. It's because now we're starving at 8.30 p.m. Because we ate at 5. You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say Happy Monday. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I have Zoom meetings for a lot of the day, and so I try to do something to myself. I just did a little bit of concealer under my eyes and a shadow eyeliner, and I fluffed my eyebrows up a little bit and put mascara on, and that is the extent of it. So I'm gonna spend the day working at my regular finance job. The snow's already stopped, so nothing pretty to look out at anymore, unfortunately. I absolutely love the snow, and being in North Carolina, it rarely ever snows. So as you can see, I set to my morning routine again. I just didn't get the meditation and my journaling on film. I do like a more in-depth morning routine video just to kind of go into exactly what I do and how much it's really helped my motivation throughout the day. This is my cozy outfit of the day. 
I have on a pink lily duster cardigan. It's pretty long, but it's fuzzy. These pants are the closest things to Barefoot Dreams. They are from Aerie. They're called the Marshmallow Pant. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They're so soft. Then I have some slippers from Amazon and a little Free People tank. So I just finished doing my like official 2022 planning in my new planner. I am obsessed with this thing. I think it's going to be the best one I have ever used. And the reason why is because of this pouch. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a walkthrough of this thing because it was really affordable from Target. And I am just really glad that I ran across it. So it has little pockets up here. It has stickers, which is a must for me. And it goes through some like goal setting if you want. At the beginning, here is like a January month scape and then it goes through um, the daily scape. There's a little ruler that you can put on each week which is super easy to get to where you are in the planner. Every week there is a section for this week's top three and then you have your daily planning. Something I'm doing is I put my post-it note of my resolutions and my goals and I'm going to move that every week so I can stay focused. Um, it helps to see them every single week. And then I wanted to share this with you as well. In the back there's little dividers. I put a post-it over the divider so I can actually write and not ruin the original divider. But I went ahead and made my yearly goals and monthly check-ins. Monthly check-ins are so important but I wanted to just show you so this is my like main goal sheet and then literally have a check-in for each month. And then after that there's some more little fun pages you can use and then there's a fancy little divider if you wanted to use that and this is what I got the pages for my monthly check-in and it just sticks into another little sleeve in the back. Um, this is just the best planner ever like I said mainly because I love that there's a little pouch in here that you can put your pens and a post-it note or whatever you need to in there so you always have it with you. I just noticed that. That's amazing. So you can stick a pen in here as well. I mean this company thought of everything and because it is a binder you can actually go online and order more little inserts for the size that you have um, if you wanted to keep like the same cover every year which I may do but yeah. That was good. Today was actually supposed to be like a 10 minute Christmas dance party since I'm doing the December challenge over again. Um, but I really didn't want to. I'm a terrible dancer. It makes me feel really bad about myself. I do not like to do fun dance workouts. I don't think they're fun. So instead I chose a 20 minute upper body workout and you saw part of it. And I've been posture training, as you know, since I got that little upright go thing for Christmas. And I have noticed my upper back and mid back is so sore and it stays sore because I'm not used to having like good posture. So I'm about to go on the treadmill and get a half a mile in of my run. A half mile is still like by the end of it, I'm like, yeah, I'm done running. Um, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take the dog on a W-A-O-K. -okay. As soon as I say the W word, he goes absolutely nuts. So we're gonna spare him. So slow, hold you in my arms, won't let go. It is six o'clock. I finished up work for the day for my job. Then I had to publish my YouTube video, so it went live. It's my part one of three Amazon fall and winter haul. So that is up. And then I shared about that on my Instagram. And then I also posted an Instagram reel. So I have been like staring at a screen all day. I'm so over it. So we're about to head to my mom's for dinner again. We were gonna make dinner here, but she called and said, do you wanna come over? So of course, anytime that I get invited to dinner, I'm usually gung-ho for it. We just got home from my mom's house. It's about 9.30 and we're about to get ready for bed. I hope that you enjoyed the last few days in my life, especially since I really tried to show you how I do my resolutions and my goal settings and how I plan my week. I hope that you enjoyed and got something from this vlog and I will see you next week and don't forget to click that subscribe button. The world around could pass us by a thunderstorm, a lightning strike as we hold each other tight.